Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, continuing along with Zombie Army 4 Collectibles. This is the second mission, Death Canal, has 17 total collectibles. We'll start off on Chapter 1. On the second time the boat stops for you to get off, get off on the right-hand side and locate the building directly in front of you. When you go inside, you'll notice these yellow walls and a staircase. Go up the staircase all the way to the very top to find a weapon attachment as well as a document. Again, I kind of briefly mentioned this in part one of the series, but there's no point of actually giving you the name of the documents in the bottom left corner because the game has excellent trackers in the main menu that will let you know exactly what you're missing and the name of the collectible will show up on screen as I pick it up anyways. Nonetheless, when your boat stops for the third time, exit on the left hand side and enter the building directly in front of the walkway. Go up the stairs and notice that there is a little bit of a shadow show ha happening in front of you. And this is where you can find your zombie hand to begin mission two. You'll eventually dock your boat again and you'll be given the objective to return the control cogs. From the actual cog station, go back across the bridge and then immediately turn right and go up the stairs to find a pistol ammo uh, box. And next to that is a door. This door you can open up, and inside you'll find a weapon kit. This one was actually pretty well hidden in my opinion. At this point, I've returned both of the cogs into the machine, and my objective is to now pull the lever. I'll also notice that there is a newly opened door just kind of behind me and up a small staircase. So instead of pulling the lever, I'm going to quickly go and grab the collectible, which is a comic, by going through this door and then turning up the stairs and finding it on the right hand side. You can also find a flamethrower here before pulling the lever in order to basically complete the chapter. Next up is chapter two. As soon as you exit the safe, you will be able to grab the weapon kit. So as soon as I come out of that door, I'm going to run forward and then go to the left and down the alley hugging the left hand side wall until I find a small little alleyway that connects to the water. Now some of these alleyways you can actually go into the water and some of them you can't, but this one you can. So we're going to go into the water and continue past the fence up the stairs to find the weapon kit hanging out around back. This is another one that is decently well hidden. We'll then cross a footbridge, and I believe this is the introduction of the flamethrower enemy, which is downed in front of me. After I've cleared out everyone, you'll notice that there is an arrow letting you know that you should go to the left here. And what I'm going to do is go up the stairs between the two buildings. I think you can go inside and use an indoor staircase, but we're going to use this one. And as soon as we enter, we're going to go through a door and be able to find a document sitting on a couple of wooden boxes. We'll then come to this long area where a new enemy type is shown in front of us, which is able to spawn enemies at you. You can feel free to take them out, but go forward and then go to the right hand side and underneath the stairs that you would basically use to get upstairs. You can find the zombie hand kind of running around. It's very dark here, but you should be able to locate him and take him out. This is Edgar. You'll eventually reach a large open area where you are meant to talk to Captain Dutton. And here you'll have basically a little bit of a horde based defense round. You can do this before or after. I'm going to do it before as there's no enemies to worry about and we have a couple of seconds before they start coming in. But from where we entered, if you go to the far buildings or from Dutton, if you just follow along exactly as I did, you can find that there are some buildings we can climb into on the third floor windows. And inside of here, there's kind of three connected rooms. And in the middle room, you can find a comic sitting uh, at the foot of one of the kind of small little cots. So make sure you pick that one up before we move on. Last but not least, we are now basically done the chapter. Our objective is to get to the safe room by crossing the footbridge across the water to our right. Instead of doing that, continue along the path to your left to find someone getting attacked by three zombies. If you successfully defend him from the three zombies, he will be saved and then he will run away, completing your heroic action. Now, because I already did this heroic action, you won't see me getting progress to it on screen, but I promise you it will work. He will run away. You can try to follow him. I don't know if he leads you to anything useful, but that is the heroic action for chapter two before going to the safe room and beginning chapter three. 
as soon as you leave the safe room, we can basically find the weapon upgrade kit not too far. What we'll want to do is instead of pushing towards the objective, cross the bridge to the right hand side. And after crossing the bridge, hug the left and you should be able to find a small room inside of this white building. Inside of that room, it's very small, but you should be able to locate your weapon upgrade kit quite easily directly in front of you. It glows to make sure you don't miss it. You'll then eventually reach what I believe is called a blood fountain where you have to activate it and then power it using the souls of zombies. And before or after you do that, you'll notice that there is a small little balcony ledge with some secondary ammo in front of you. And if you go into the room kind of behind it, you can pick up a document here. The door should automatically be open for you, but if it's not, you either have to open it manually or wait until you defeat the fountain. Now, the objective here is to locate the Hell Tower, and I've taken care of all of the enemies here. But before moving on to the next area, make sure you grab the comic inside of this side room, uh, not far from the little fountain near the middle. Next up, we have the zombie hand, which is very difficult. You'll notice that there is a safe. If you shoot out the lights that spell brains, you can open the safe to get an artillery strike. But this is right before getting to the safe room by going up the stairs. And instead, we want to find one of the hardest zombie hands in the entire game, and it is in this bucket. You shoot the bucket, and the zombie hand runs out, and then you want to shoot the zombie hand. The reason this one is so hard is because there's actually an, a perk later on in the game that can show you some of these collectibles. But it won't show you this zombie hand because it's covered by the bucket. Next up, last but not least, is Chapter 4. This is one giant big open area, and the two doors will open for you as soon as you are given the objective to repair the generators. We're going to go down the left-hand side door, and we'll end up in a boat room. This boat room has a side kind of storage closet with a weapon kit inside, which we will grab... Getting the enemies to stop spawning here is pretty much impossible. You might want to grab these with a co-op partner if you prefer. Next, what you do is you run forward and exit the boathouse. Go across the small bridge to kind of connect to the middle area. And you'll notice that there is a document hanging out on one of the railings nearby. It'll be very close to a small ramp, which we'll actually need to sit on for a few seconds here. But make sure you pick up the document first. After picking up the document, go down the ramp and look into the water, or you can actually walk in the water if you prefer. you notice a small little boat running around. Inside of this boat is your zombie hand. Very hard to find if you don't have the perk to show you exactly where to look, but make sure you take out the zombie hand. Last but not least, you'll be told that there are two generators. They are labeled A and B with a giant uh, sign right next to them. At generator B, before or after you end up replacing the fuse, there's a small shack behind it, and make sure you grab your comic in order to complete all of the collectibles in Mission 2, Death Canal. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.